Moses is born. Many years went by. Joseph's people, the Israelites, grew in number. A new pharaoh came. He did not like the Israelites. He thought they were a threat to the Egyptians, so he made them his slaves. He ordered the killing of all the male babies born to the Israelite women. But there was an Israelite mother who wanted to save her baby. She put him in a reed basket and set him afloat on the river. She told her daughter, Miriam, to keep a watch. The pharaoh's daughter saw the basket. She decided to keep the baby. Miriam, who was standing nearby, suggested, Should I bring an Israelite woman to nurse him? Yes, replied the pharaoh's daughter. Miriam got her own mother, who was pleased to nurse her own baby. Now she would be able to look after him. The pharaoh's daughter named the baby Moses. The burning bush. Moses could never overlook the sufferings of his people. One day, Moses saw an Egyptian god hitting a slave. He immediately killed the god. But he became the enemy of the pharaoh. So he ran away. He reached Midian and became a shepherd under a man called Jethro. Later, Moses married Jethro's daughter. One day, he saw a burning bush on a mountain which seemed to be on fire. Yet, it did not burn. Suddenly, a voice spoke, Take off your sandals as this is a holy ground. Do not be afraid, Moses. I am God. I have seen your people suffer. I have decided that you will lead them to freedom. What if they don't believe me? asked Moses. Throw your stick on the ground, God ordered. Moses did so and saw the stick turn into a snake. Pick it up by its tail. As Moses did so, it turned into a stick again. God said, Now go, I am with you. The Plagues Moses went to the Pharaoh and told him to free the Israelites. But the Pharaoh refused. Yet, Moses did not lose hope. He went to the Pharaoh again. This time, he warned the Pharaoh, saying, Free the Israelites or all the people of Egypt will suffer. There will be nine plagues which are sure to cause great harm. But the pharaoh did not listen. Soon the plagues came. First, the river water turned into blood. Next came the plague of the frogs, followed by the stinging gnats and flies. Then the diseases followed, which killed many people of Egypt. But the pharaoh remained stubborn. Then arrived the hailstorm. Next was the plague of the locusts, which ate every green leaf. Then for three days, there was total darkness in Egypt. In the ninth plague, 
the first bonds of all the animals and humans of the land in Egypt were to die. The Ninth Plague the ninth plague was to take place. Moses did not wish to harm the Israelites. So God told Moses, Each Israelite household should keep a lamb or goat to make a meal and paint some of its blood on the doorpost. When the angel of death sees the blood, he will pass over and no child will die. Everyone is to eat with his shoes on and his things packed, ready to leave. This was the beginning of the feast, still celebrated today, called Passover. The next day, Moses instructed all the Israelites to do just that. At night, the angel of death passed each house, taking the lives of all the firstborns and sparing only those whose houses were smeared with blood. Among those dead firstborns, was the pharaoh's only son. The grieving pharaoh called Moses and ordered him to take all the Israelites out of Egypt. And so all the Israelites left Egypt with Moses leading them. Thanks for watching. Do like share subscribe to sahil book house